Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. My name is Jeff Aviano. Today, we're going to be doing a cruise in the 1970 Chevelle SS454. And this thing is a beast. I've done a few things to it. Uh, one of the things I did do was put the blower motor, as you can see, sticking out of there. How amazing does that look? <laughs> Pretty badass. And I'm going to show you that it's completely animated, too. If we come inside uh, to the interior of this car and you can see just how classic this uh, car is. I mean, just based off the interior alone with the black uh, hard uh, plastic and whatnot in there and leather. But as you can see right there on the, uh, the throttle there, look at this. You can actually see that cable pull down and watch the engine. When you add that power, the RPMs come up, the engine stabilizes right there. That is badass. Right here's a better uh, shot of it. <laughs> Amazing, but I figured we would take this car out for a cruise. We haven't done a cruise in a while. Hell, we haven't been into uh, Forza Horizon 3 in a while. So let's just get rolling here and go take a nice leisure, leisurely cruise. So first things first, I have a PO box now and I will put that in the description below. Um, in fact, I added it to my YouTube default, so it should always be on all my videos now. Uh, that is if everything goes according to plan, <laughs> which we know sometimes that does not happen. All right, he's going right there. All right, wait a second here. Okay, they're coming from that way. We're good. So used to uh, American roads, you know, having to wait. Oh, okay, it was a good thing we waited. We, we would have been killed by that uh, Lambo there. This thing's a beast, man. It gets up and goes. Look at that. Four gears, and that's about all she has uh, for it right there. But yeah, I have a P.O. box now, which is pretty awesome. Very uh, excited to have one of those. A lot of people have been asking for that for a very long time. We finally went to the local post office and got it taken care of. So you can send me things now if you would like. Of course, you don't have to. Uh, you do not have to. And I do plan on doing some... Uh, videos of things uh, that people do send so I'm not trying to give you an incentive to send anything uh, you don't have to by any means but I was asked by many people and I took care of it for you so that'll be a description as well as something uh oh yeah Halloween shit that just happened how was your Halloween I hope you had a good one uh, we decided to stay indoors and play overwatch and try to get our loot boxes uh, taken care of no, that's that stupid, uh, the stupid bucket list back there. I don't want any part of that. But, uh, yeah, we stayed inside, indoors, and, uh, we got a big, huge, so we have, like, uh, a big popcorn bucket. Imagine that. It's a, one of those big, huge ones from, like, a movie theater. Actually, a little bit bigger than that, but it's made of plastic. And we filled that thing all the way up with candy and put it on the front porch and said, uh, I think Nicole put on there, uh, take some candy go away or something like that <laughs> uh but we had one trick-or-treater that was it and uh it seems like it was just it's kind of like a trending thing for other people too uh that maybe trick-or-treating is kind of dying or something i don't know a lot of people reported that the same that uh they bought a bunch of candy for kids and just no one showed up no one at all so that was pretty crazy we did, we did that uh and we had one trick-or-treater and they took just a little bit of candy. We were like, hell, you could have taken the whole damn bucket. We wouldn't have cared. You know, this the fact that somebody would have taken it. Look how sideways that car can get if you want to step on it. Oh, missed my shift there big time. There we go. Beautiful. I just love driving this car. It's got that boaty feel to it and everything. And I want to say thank you to uh, somebody who put in the comments. Uh, I need to go and put tires on the car. If anything you do on upgrades of cars, you should put tires because the default ones, the stock ones, are no good. And a lot of the issues I've been having with driving has been linked to that. So that's what's going on with that, if you're wondering. So yeah, trick-or-treaters, I guess that's a dying thing. I don't know. But when we were kids, we used to do it a lot, and it was like, you know, a lot of people out on the roads at any given time. Uh, however didn't seem to be the case this year so did you do any trick-or-treating uh did you uh do any uh well a lot of you probably didn't go trick-or-treating but <laughs> i mean did you set any candy out for other people and whatnot 
because we had no takers at all. The weather's been pretty crazy, though. I mean, here in St. Louis, we've got, you know, we're November 2nd today, right? Yeah, I think it's November 2nd. It's Wednesday. Uh, November 2nd, and we have been having, like, 80-degree weather. And I cannot remember the last time that that has happened. October's always been really, really cold, uh, it, especially towards the end of it. I'm not saying, like, extremely cold, but... Uh, for the most part, it's been like summer still here. 80s, you know, mid 70s. It's been pretty insane. We got a little Miata up here. Let's add him to the to our little thing here. Who is that? Is that Bugs? That's Bugs. I knew it was Bugs. I knew his uh, plate. He has that plate for his Crown Vic, so it looks legit. I'm gonna cruise with Bugs here. Uh, but yeah, the weather's been pretty different. I'll say the, to say the very least, it's been very different uh, from what I am used to uh, when I used to work out on the ramp at the airport. You know, that it was easy to know. Um, I said easy to know because that said easy over that car. That's where I just read what I saw there. Uh, but no, it was uh, it was pretty uh, common for October to be really cold when I was working on the ramp. I remember that. So it was very strange and it's still warm here today. Today is absolutely beautiful in St. Louis again, but the weather's been pretty strange. So I don't know if it's been abnormal for you. I don't know. Maybe these planetary changes are a thing. I have no idea. Convoy race the Maroon and the Reservoir. Yes, let's do it, man. Let's do it, bugs. Race is a uh, little Miata. Boy, with that blower motor, you cannot see anything right there. It's really dangerous. Oh, little door banging there, bruh. This is maxed. Maxed out. Look at the speed we're getting. We got it buried. Oh, we're just gonna be yep. <laughs> That's as fast as she goes. It really is. Oh, oncoming traffic in a Jeep. Oncoming traffic in a Jeep dead! I have no idea what the hell happened there, but that freaking Jeep ruined it for us. Oh, Bugs nearly died hitting that car there, the Audi. Oh, and Jeep again, Jeep again. Holy crap. That was crazy. All right, he's gonna take the inside of this car. I will too. Yeah, look at the handling of this thing. Still drives better than that damn Ferrari. <laughs> All right, we gotta make the turn up here. Whoa, dude. Turn left into the dirt? Like, okay. I hate the GPS. I remember how much I hate the GPS in this game. It seems so off. Go, baby, go. Bugs is coming down that hill back there. Did you see that? Ooh, hitting some jumps. Hitting some sweet jumps. Whoa, and there's some water there, no problem. Just drive right through that. Drifted right through it. it was not an issue. Did it really just warp him in front of us, or is that a different drive avatar? I hope that's a different drive avatar, because that'd be bullshit. Unless he just went like, straight through the water. This is very possible. Get up around these. Boy, this thing's actually kind of fun to drift. It's got so much ass end on it. Through the woods we go. It's really light coming off those hills. That's another car, I think. I don't think that's him. Nope, different car. So we beat him. That was pretty cool. We win! Yay! Woo! Finish first. Difficulty and assists are good. Look at that. Fantastic. That was fun. I damaged the car a little bit killed ourselves in the process but we leveled up we are level 16 now that's really cool oh could we win it could we win it no not today hey i'll take thirty-five thousand credits i will take that no problem there goes bugs that was fun racing you bugs um yeah so outside of the craziness that this game just threw at us uh weather's been nuts what else oh shit Okay, we're good. 
just wanted to explain uh, the reason why Forza hasn't been around um, is because I'm juggling a bunch of series. I'm getting ready to bring X Plane 10 back on the channel uh, in preparation for X Plane 11 that will be coming out soon. So I'm bringing Flight Sims back to the channel. I think it's going to make a lot of people happy. Uh, I brought LSPDFR back to the channel pretty much because I missed it so much. Uh, you know, once you get kind of tired of playing the same old games, you know, it, it's okay to take a break from that, you know? So that's why you may see some uh, changes in the series over the next few days. Um, but other than that, like this hasn't been around just because of time. Uh, you know, Battlefield 1 came out. I wanted to play Battlefield 1. I had a lot of fun playing it. But it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy this game and I don't want to play it anymore. Because that is not true at all. <laughs> this thing just dove straight down. It is a lot of fun to drive this off-road. Oh, that is beautiful right there. I need to get a screenshot here in a few seconds for my, uh, for my thumbnail. Got my screenshot that I needed for the thumbnail. It looks pretty badass. I love the photo mode in Forza. It's absolutely amazing. Speaking of that, uh, of Forza, just because I have it on my head, uh, DLC news. There is a new DLC that is on its way, and uh, I think they just released recently the car one, which is the Alpine Stars car pack. Uh, but there's an expansion coming out, and it's going to involve snow. Well, at least from the picture I saw on their website, it looked like snow. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm very excited about uh, the Forza franchise as far as the Horizon series is concerned based off of just how awesome they've been putting out, you know, how much DLC they've been putting out and all that. Let's take this turn right here. Because it's been really, 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 really constant. And uh, if they're going to bring snow for winter, that's just going to be fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's slide this baby around. This thing actually does some pretty decent drifts. Don't worry about me, Bugs. I'm good. <laughs> He's like, uh, are you okay, dude? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm good. We're good. Let's try this. <laughs> now that is a Chevy big block. That's a 454, man. I love a Chevy Chevelle. And the 70, uh, the 70s ones are pretty cool. They're big. They're a lot bigger than some of the other previous ones. Uh, my dad had a 66 Chevelle. I think you remember that from the vlogs stuff at my brother's house. And that had a 396. It had a power glide in it. Uh, but this, this only has four gears. I think the Chevelle that my dad had had like two gears or three. I don't remember. What the power glide was set up for drag racing, so. That's pretty much what it was. Sorry. Looked over at the clock. Should not have done that. Nearly killed ourselves in the process. Nearly killed our shells in the process. So, uh, what I was saying before, Forza will be back on the channel. It's just uh, a matter of getting it done. Look at that Impala. That is amazing. All righty, sir. That is pretty freaking sweet. We got a car coming. Yeah, I want you to come along with us. Who owns that Impala? Who owns it? That blower motor is so dangerous in uh, Australia driving on the left side. Because if you were on the right side of the road, you know, like over here, it wouldn't be bad at all. You, you can see it perfectly fine. However, in Australia, I don't think I would go for that option. I don't think so. I don't think so. We got a few people uh, cruising with us now. We're almost downtown. Love the sound of this engine. We need to get it over to the highway. I think that was the turn for the highway. I'm only going to make them another left here. Uh, but we want to go to the highway so we can get this thing up to its uh, top speed. I'm pretty sure it was just burying the needle at like 125, 130 or so. That's not going to change. Surfer's Paradise. Let's do a little bit of outside view action for you so you can hear the car.
Love how they model the uh, taillights. That looks so realistic. Remember, I'm really bad at driving outside view with uh, a wheel. Slow down here. <laughs> Car. <laughs> There's the roundabout up here. This is how you get on the highway. This is where we want to be right here. Yep. Let's do it. Take it all the way back home. Uh, yeah, let's convoy race to Yara Valley. Why not? I don't like how it automatically throws you into first gear every time that that happens. Alrighty. It's going to get crazy. It's starting to rain. We've got traffic. Turn left. Oh, we already lost. Recalculating route. Okay, we can still take this route. Well, we lost that. Oops. Whoopsies. I was watching the traffic up here and I didn't even think about that. Oh, 77 Trans AM, dude. Move, move. Out of the way, people. Okay, they want us to make a left up here. Don't think it's going to be the fastest way, but hey, what do I know? Okay, this dude's turning too. Where's the fucking turn at? Exit. Okay. Yeah, this this GPS. Not my favorite. All right. Let's take it this way. I'm sure they're going to kick our ass now. Well, at least the rain let up. Let's get ooh, between these cars. You just can't see anything on that right side. That's the problem. Oh, railroad tracks. <laughs> Thread the needle there. Yeah, I know we lost a convoy race. I figured we would. There they all are right there. All right, we're going to turn around right here. After Bug slams into us. We're going to head back to the Horizon Festival in Yara Valley. Yara. Got a Yara Valley. Yeah. Go through here. All right. Back to the, the main highway. Love the sound of that. Just absolutely love it. Okay, we're going to make an our left turn up here. Thanks for that. These drive tires really do drive like shit. I'm not going to lie. Clear. You have a bucket list challenge to complete nearby. No. Would you like me to set a route there for you? No, I would not because I already know what it's going to be. It's going to be garbage. Garbage Fest 2016. Dude, move. I'm going to pit him. I'm going to pit him in his, in his 6 4 Impala. Look at this. What physics is that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Pit successful. Man, that thing got a second gear scratch right out of there. Was not expecting that. That engine looks so badass, so sticking out of there. Very impractical, but amazing nonetheless. Don't mind if I do there, Bugs. Thank you. Why would you do that, people? All right, we're going to make a left turn up here. But, guys, that is going to do it for this cruise. Wow, these people are nuts. That's going to do it for the cruise. I had fun. I did not want to turn the radio on. I wanted to disband the convoy. Goodbye, everybody. Okay. Convoy disbanded. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. So, yep. With that said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care.